Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. And I got a package here from Australia. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Alright, so my man Mad Spidey uh, down in Australia over in Melbourne uh, hooked me up big time he facilitated a deal uh this is it is possibly the most valuable comic book in my collection now um so uh let's go ahead and cut this thing open and take a look and see inside was go into it um so the whole deal was um there's a big story on this so mad spidey uh, had been one night he was just on the old um, Facebook groups over in Australia and it's uh, red tapes a little bit of work uh, and uh, we were on banter or something and he he mentions that there's this uh, submariner book a golden age submariner book um, that was that was up for sale and he's asking, uh, hey, doesn't uh, $500, and he's talking Australian, he says, doesn't $500 seem like a little low for a Golden Age Submariner book? And we're all, uh, yeah, probably, depending on what it is. And so he takes a, he, he shows, shares with us an image of the book. Now, it's a CGC slabbed 5.0 Timely Comics Submariner, issue 23, featuring the second appearance of Namora. So it's a minor key, it's a timely Submariner, and it's, you know, low number, and it's graded. Um, so, do a little research, and we're seeing, okay, like a 6.0 recently sold for $2,800 US. Um, so... We'll figure okay round take a couple hundred dollars off uh this 5.0 is probably a 2200 to 2600 dollar uh book right there's not a lot of these on census and they don't sell all that much uh but you had a sale from within a couple months of a only one grade difference book so okay so we know that this book's over a two thousand dollar book and the person's asking 500 Australian. Now, 500 Australian converts at the time to $344 US. It really start, starts to become one of those deals that you're just like, oh, this is too good to be true. How could I possibly believe that this is legit? At the same time, you're going, this is one of those deals that you hear about, that somebody gets something, and you're like, oh, holy cow, where was I? Why didn't I get this opportunity? So here is that opportunity in front of me. Um, I happened at the time, I had just sold a few things, so I had, a, I had enough revenue for it, but I still didn't want, again, if it sounds too good to be true, Typically it is, and I don't want to go into this blind, especially internationally. It's a it's a very scary situation. Um, so Spidey goes, "Hey, let me check it out for you." So great. So he starts. He's he's part of this group. He starts reaching out to people he knows, including one retailer. And eventually, in short in short order, he gets a couple responses back from people that say, yeah, they've done business with this person before. And the retailer says, I've done several transactions with this person before. They're legit. Okay. So he's got multiple people vouching that this person or this ID is legit. Um, and it's sounding, sounding possible, favorable. So at that point now, it's a question for me. Do I take that chance that I'm going to be out, that, I, that I'm out this money... Um, or do I take the chance that I'm going to get a huge score? Well, the, you, know, the, you gotta fortune favors the bold sometimes. So I, Spidey was willing to go ahead and transact it for me. So I sent him the money. Um, he take, he went ahead and reached out the person made the transaction. And when he got it shipped, when he re received it 
and and sent me pictures, I was elated because then at that point, it was just a matter of time of getting it over from Australia to me uh, because then it was legit and secured. So that's what this is now. The package has come. Uh, it only cost uh, 80 bucks to ship it from Australia uh, with the extra insurance and stuff on it. So that's good. Uh, well, $80 uh, Australian. So well, even less. Uh, so anyways, so we go ahead and um, take a look inside here. We have a bunch of bubble wrap inside here. Um, Get into this, move this out of the way. Oh, there's more than just a comic book in here. Oh, hot damn, dude. This is my favorite. Okay, so Mad Spidey heard me talk about before. One of my favorite things is Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. This is, I can't get this in the U.S. Not, I mean, Cadbury makes chocolate in the U.S., but they don't make it like this. This is phenomenal. I'm a big fan of just plain chocolate. And that's what this is, a giant block, nothing but dairy milk, milk chocolate. Thank you, dude. And then I got some Tim Tams in here. Uh, I love Tim Tams. Uh, it is, if you don't know what they are, they're basic. It's a, it's a biscuit chocolate cookie, uh, as we call them here in America, for, uh, made out of Australia. This is a double coat. Uh, so it's a chocolate biscuit with chocolate cream filling and double coat of chocolate covering over it um we got a big package of the originals these are just phenomenal and then a flavor i've not tried oh but it sounds good chewy caramel so we have the same cookie but with some caramel chewy caramel in it i like me some caramel so that's awesome thank you dude i appreciate that like you don't even know that 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 is awesome all right, underneath the bubble wrap, we have a slab box. So let's go ahead and pack this bubble wrap outside, get this out of the way. And let's get into here. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Pull tab. Awesome. All right. Open this up and yes. <laughs> oh, that is smexy. Let's take it out of here. All right, guys. This is the old. This is the old CGC slab. So here we go. Submariner number twenty-three. Let me try to get it. So, oh, you're gonna get ring light there. Lots of sun in my room right now. There you go. Submariner twenty-three from nineteen forty-seven. We have the second appearance of Namora. We got shark. The shark strikes here. That is just beautiful. CGC 5.0. Uh, cream to off-white pages. That's fine. It's a the book has earned earned itself to have some uh, colored pages. That's fine. Uh, the thing that stands out is there's definitely um, a lot of foxing uh, in here. I had taken a look at the. Uh, with graders notes thank god cgc solved that problem and that's the primary thing that they call out is a lot of foxing and some staining on this book uh, otherwise there's no significant creases in it there are some small bent creases and some small bends um, definitely a very rounded corner uh, so i took uh, that information oh this is a one staple book there's only one staple right in the middle this was still kind of carry over from uh, World War II. Um, so I sent some inf information and some pictures uh, that I had pre before this uh, to uh, my man Rogue Trader. Uh, and he uh, thought from the preliminaries, and I'm going to send him some more, that this was potentially gotten beyond foxing. Uh, as it's been in in this slab now for over seven years, this is an, uh, some of these older slabs. One of the things that was an issue was they didn't necessarily off-gas quite the same way that the new ones do. And so they would seal them in Florida with that humidity. And the Foxine is essentially either uh, is oftentimes a little bit of mold and discoloration from mold. Well, 
trapped in that humidity, that mold develops more. And that's what he's afraid of, is that it has continued to mold during this time. So I am going to actually, in fairly short order, I'm going to be uh, cracking, uh, sending this over to, to uh, the Rogue Trader. Now, the Rogue Trader is the man who presses and cleans and does all the rest. You know, he also can do restoration and do other stuff. He's a document preservationist. He's the man who takes care of all my fat stacks of comics. In fact, if you go to the Rogue Trader Utah.com and use the code fat stacks at checkout you're going to get 20 percent off your pressing needs including already packaged bundled uh discounted books so like a, he's got like an 11 pack that's already got 10 percent off use the code get 20 percent off of that great deal and each time that code is used, he's going to make a $10 donation to Comics Curing Cancer, uh, the C3 campaign in partnership with the American Cancer Society. Um, so it's a win-win. Um, I don't get any kickbacks from me. I've partnered with him specifically instead of any kickback that would normally come to me to go to the American Cancer Society. So anyways, he's going to take this book and he has suggested that it's going to be like probably a three-month time it's a more than just a normal clean and press here in order to um, actually eliminate all the mold um, from the pages and then try to work on the foxing to see and the stains to see what can come out uh, or be lightened um, and then we will then press it uh, and send it off to CGC and have it uh, regraded so we'll have to check back in on that I'd be perfectly happy to stay where we're at on a 5.0. Um, if we get any kind of a grade bump, that could, that grade bump could be worth hundreds of dollars, um, depending upon what we what kind of grade bump we're talking about here. So um, hopefully we don't take a hit, but even still, if we do, um, I don't care. I want to preserve this book. I don't want that mold to continue to grow. So anyway, Submariner. Uh, number 23, uh, a roughly, let's just say it's a $2,400 book because that's somewhere in the middle of the range of what we're looking at between a four and a six um, from recent sales. So let's say it's a $2,400 book uh, for $344 US plus $80 shipping uh, Australian, which is actually about $65 shipping US. So all in just over $400 $2,400 book if I were to, if I decide to ultimately move move it we're looking at a $2,000 profit um, I probably will hang on to it for a while just because I love Golden Age Submariner this is my first timely comics book and the problem with being a collector sometimes is you just don't want to let it go <laughs> anyway guys until next time please uh, check what you uh, collect what you want to collect don't listen to anybody, including myself, except when I say go to the CBCA Awards or CBCAwards.org uh, and vote for this year's 2022 Comic Book Community Awards winners. This channel has been nominated for four awards, so uh, I appreciate your consideration. Anyways, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including myself, Fat Man, Fat Sex of Comics, Fat Opinion. Thank you very all for watching.